Once again, it's Wednesday, but we're not having Awana. Nobody's going to be playing games on the Awana circle. Nobody's going to be saying verses face-to-face -face with a teacher. Nobody's going to be having fun at Awana with friends. And, you know, it comes to my mind that if we focus on what we can't do, if we focus on what we don't have, then we might get discouraged and we might be sad. But God doesn't want us to do that. God tells us to be thankful. God tells us to rejoice in the Lord always. As you learn your verses, as you call your Awana teacher or they call you and you say them, they say those verses to your Awana teacher, remember to rejoice and be thankful. God gives us so much. What has he given you? A warm and happy home? A place where you can be with your family? Good food on the table? Enough uh, clothes to wear? He's given us a beautiful world where the sun is shining and it can be wonderful fun to play in. God has given us so much to be thankful for. For a few weeks, we can't go out and we can't go to Awana, and that stinks. For a little while, we can't go to school. Maybe you think that stinks. Maybe you think that's awesome. But we can't go to school. But there's so much to be thankful for. And I encourage you, like God says in the Bible, to rejoice always and to be thankful no matter what. Because no matter what, God is on your side. Jesus still loves you, and he reigns. He's the king, and he's going to come back for all of us who believe in him. So, Awana kids, we'll miss you tonight, but be thankful.